In this video, we're going to be talking about one scientifically proven way of goal setting that has proven to have a noticeable significant impact on improving your test scores in school. This experiment that I'm going to be quoting comes from the book Willpower by Roy Baumeister. I'll uh, be sure to link that in the description below, but I think I link it I link that book in a lot of my other recent videos as well, if you uh, want to check that out as well. So before I get started, I know some there's I, almost every video now I get someone who says, you know, I think you're new to YouTube. If you got better lighting and you had a good thumbnail and then if you edited your videos well, you could get millions of views. Well, uh, I have to address this because, you know, it, it keeps coming up. I've been doing video for 10 years. I've invested a lot of uh uh, money into courses, feedback, uh, even equipment. And quite frankly, you know, I know I have to learn Photoshop at some point, but um, I just don't have the time or interest to invest into making a thumbnail. It's From what I could tell, it's difficult. You have to click it just to crop my entire body out. It's it's a manual click-by-click -click process. Um, that's, that's a huge time investment. And then editing is a huge investment as well. Why can't I just talk to the camera and do what I love? And, um, you know, I've done, I've tested out investing in thumbnails and stuff before and, you know, spending a bunch of time in editing and stuff. And I might get a couple hundred views. Is that worth all the time or can I just do what I enjoy? So um, now that I've gotten that rant out of the way, let's just get into the tips like I wanted to do in the first place. So um, the first tip, and really the only tip for this video uh, comes from this experiment in the book. And basically they have three groups. The control group, they said, don't do anything different, you know, don't, don't make any changes. And then, and so that's the group that didn't set any goals. With the second group, they said, okay, I want you to set monthly goals for where, when, how you are going to study and prepare for school. And then in the third and final group, they said, okay, I want you to do this, do that goal setting of figuring out where, when, how you're going to study and, and, and do your homework and prepare for school, but do that daily. Now, I want you to pause this video and then leave a comment just letting me know um, which group you think actually saw the significant gain. Go ahead, leave a comment. I'm going to give you five, ten seconds. It, it does help me out. I think it helps with the algorithm. Leave a like, subscribe, all that helps as well. Okay, so I hope you've left a comment now. And if you don't, please do. The answer is the daily group. Now, that was surprising to me, actually, because I even said it wrong. It's, it wasn't a daily group. It was the monthly group. That was surprising to me because I assumed that it would be the daily group that saw the most significant gains. But it turns out the daily group, in the long run, they saw no differences from the control group. And they followed up with these students a year after the experiment, and they found that the daily group ended up just kind of quitting their daily goal setting afterwards, and just kind of diffusing back into it and having almost no difference from the control. Whereas the monthly planners, they continued with it, and they continue to have significant uh, noticeable differences in improved test scores and improved performance in school. And they were confident and effective. Um, so that's very interesting. Why did this occur? Well, when you, when you investigate, you, you discover that setting daily goals, you know, trying to figure out 10, 15 different things to do is very time consuming. And uh, on top of that, it's stressful. And if something derails or your plan shift, which they often do sometimes on a daily level, which is very volatile, then you're stressed or you're upset or you're let down because you didn't accomplish all those goals. So not only is it stressful and time consuming and uh, a headache, it's, you know, a hassle. And so the monthly goals, you know, they can switch and pivot um, and go at a slower pace if something changes because they only set their goals on a monthly basis. It's not exhausting and they can kind of see the forest through the trees and, and build some strategy rather than focus on a daily, the daily minutia. So 
It's as simple as that. By planning where, when, how you do things on a monthly basis, you can look focus on the higher picture. And through that, you can succeed. You can make a higher impact. And that's all there is to it. Keep that in mind. It's these little tips that really, when you add them together, they make a huge difference. And, you know, again, uh, once again, I want to address those people who are like, you know, if you really bought a ring light and then, you know, you filmed X, Y, and Z, you can make higher produced videos. Well, maybe one day I'll do that when I'm rich. Uh, you know, I've already spent a lot of money on mics and, and, and different video setups. And really, they had a nominal impact. Um, so just keep that in mind. Yes, I could wait until the morning when there's sunlight and daylight, but then it would be rising in that direction. So it would be back bounced here. So I have to go outside and point it outside and then set up my tripod to do that. And that's a huge hassle where I can just impromptu do this video while I'm feeling inspired and enjoy it. And really, you know, how much is the, the lighting and all that stuff really going to matter? Do you really care that much about how I look or do you want these tips? So I'm not being rude here. I'm not trying to at least. I'm just trying to politely address a lot of the feedback I'm getting about, you know, you should do this and you'll get a million subscribers. You have the potential. Trust me, I've heard that advice for 10 years now and uh, I'm doing it my way. Subscribe.